Everyone loves a good PSA return video, but what about if we have two? What's up guys, we are back with another PSA return video and as you guys saw, we actually have two separate PSA returns. So we have the box back from our first edition Legacy of Darkness booster box opening on whatnot. There are two cards in there that were graded for viewers. Also, there is the Pharaoh's Servant return that had the Jinzo, the Buster Blader, all that crazy stuff. That's back as well. So we have eight total cards, some really awesome stuff. So we're hoping that we can get some PSA 10s on these. I don't really remember the condition to be honest. So we're going to check it out and see what they got. We do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards, Amazonist Queen from D-Rev and Agor's Them Save Darkness from Dark Legends. Just like the video, be subscribed to the channel. Let me know what you think about this return video. Speaking of giveaways, make sure you check out the YouTube community tab. I'll pop it up on the screen. Go check that out and see if you guys want any giveaways because that's why I've been announcing them. I announced the last month. I've got everything shipped out from the last set of giveaways. The ones I just announced, I've already shipped out a few of them but not all of them yet and then there's also some that have not been claimed so go check it out and see if you want anything let's get right into these boxes and see what these grades are all right so uh we did it pretty well last time so you got to go along the sides usually that usually works pretty well yeah there we go okay okay i got it out. okay i'm kind of figuring this old psa box thing out okay let's make sure we don't ruin it okay that's the front and that's the back there we go okay two legacy of darkness cards here also one of my orders from October 2020 is actually almost done, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now that I think about it, that's nearly a year. I kind of forgot that we're in September. So almost a year and it's finally finished this, or it's not finished yet, but it's about to be finished. I actually got upcharged on a couple, which is maybe a good sign. We'll see what that means. Maybe we got something good. I think we paid like $8 each at the time. So like I, I figured it would get upcharged at this point because it's a year later, but that's a whole different discussion. Let's get into these two cards. So I don't even remember. I think one of these is the Freed. Yeah, because we jinxed ourselves with the Freed. Uh, these are interesting. They're very loose cases. Okay, let's see what we can uh, see about these cards. All right, so uh, if we're going to try and guess these. Okay, the back centering is not great. Yeah, they're from they're from Legacy of Darkness. The centering is not usually good. Uh, corners appear to be pretty decent. Can't really see too much on the surface with this whole thing. There might be something down there in the middle. Um, I don't know if that's on the slab or not. Okay. Flip it around. Oh, creature swap. Yeah, I remember this thing being way OC. Yeah. So we're pretty much hoping for a nine, but we've seen how they've kind of gotten like they will hit some centering like two grades instead of one. And if anything, this there is a chance that that happened with this one. I hope it didn't. Uh, the corners appear to be pretty good. The surface I remember being pretty nice. So let's just go ahead and see what this creature swap got. Near mint to mint eight, and I bet it's because of the centering. So it seems like with those way OC cards, they're getting eights now because it feels like that's what happened in my video where we went four eights in a row. They were all off centered, you know, quite a bit. So I, I think that's what's getting them the eight because honestly, this card looks, I mean, it looks good. It, it looks good. So it's interesting because sometimes they're a little bit off center and they still get the 10 and then sometimes they're way OC and they get the eight. So I don't really know at what point you get go from 10 to eight or 10 to nine or whatever. It's pretty tough to tell these days because this is way outside the bounds. I mean, just check out that centering. It, it's horrible. It's absolutely awful. So you're kind of hoping for the OC, I guess, subgrade. But uh, yeah, so we're starting off with um, strict on centering. So well, that's how it looks. These came at two different times. So we'll see like if the grading is consistent with the two. If it is, that's good for PSA, I guess. But uh, I mean, eight is not that exciting and definitely not exciting for the person subbing. Okay, we have corners, two nice corners. Okay, is there something on the back there? We're gonna have to take it out and see. All right, I think this is a freed, um, not the Brave One or the other one, the Maxwell's General. Uh, is there stuff in the case? Let's see if we can wipe it off. It looks like there is a little amount of stuff in the case, which is never good to see. You hate to see it. Um, I, I think that's in the case. I think it might even be on the card, which is the just pretty much the worst thing that can happen when you submit a card to have something on it, besides actually getting damaged. But uh, yeah, you don't like to see that. The The card looks pretty good on the front or the back, I mean, besides that, of course. Centering is not as bad as the other one, but it is still pretty off on the top. You guys see it's very skinny and then it, it's tilted. So it gets, it's skinny right there and then it gets a little bit wider to about almost normal centering. And then on the bottom, it's kind of normal and then it gets even wider down there. Okay. Actually, wait. Why does it look completely normal on the bottom? Is it just me? That's weird. Okay. That is really weird. 
I gotta check this out with the naked eye. It's still, that's weird. It looks completely normal on the bottom and somehow it's, I don't know. I don't know, that's weird. Okay. Um, this side is, yeah, it's, it's all a little bit off. I would hope that this one gets a nine because the centering is not nearly as bad on this one. And other than that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, mid nine, okay. That that makes sense. I think they, I think they actually, you know, they at least, according to centering, it seems like they, you know, fulfilled... Okay, this one's less off center, so it's not gonna get the eight or anything. If that this had gotten eight, I would have been really surprised. I think okay, just check this centering out. It's really baffling me. Maybe it isn't that tilted. Maybe it's only slightly tilted. Yeah, I think it's only slightly tilted. At first I thought it was more. Okay. So we got an eight and a nine on the Legacy of Darkness. It looks like it was almost all centering. Unfortunately, there is that dot on the back, which you never want to see. But yeah, that's it for that one. Let's get into the Pharaoh Servant. We have, I believe, six more cards in here, and they're pretty big ones. They're about as big as it gets. I don't remember what the centering was like on these. So we're going to find out, I guess. Let's get this guy open. By guy, I mean six PSA cards. All right, let's see if we can uh, get it back. It's right there. Okay, we got him out. Six more cards, hopefully for a little bit better results. You know, I think the centering definitely held those back from being tens in the first place. Eight is always very disappointing, but uh, I don't think they really deserved tens to be honest with the centering. Eight on the other hand, you know, it's it always stinks to see that centering killed that bad. Okay, let's check this out. We're already, okay, we're looking a little off center on the back. Corner, that's got a little whitening on it. That one looks pretty good. A very slight amount of whitening, but not, not too bad. That one is pretty good there. And then, oh man, check that out. Uh, I can't focus on this thing. Uh, there's, it looks like there's some pretty decent whitening on this one. So that's not a good start for this card. Oh, this is the Jinzo. This is the Jinzo and it has whitening on it. The centering is not good. All oh, to be honest, guys, if I had to pick, I'm going to say this is going to get an eight. Um, the centering is not horrible, but it is off. And after, you know, how they have been grading, that usually is going to get the nine. Occasionally, you'll sneak by. So I think best case scenario, we get a nine here. I'm going to guess the eight. Oh, the nine. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I would actually be really happy with that if I was, uh, you know, I was the Jinzo owner, which by the way, these are all from whatnot. So these are not my cards. It's being weird about focusing now because I, I tried to fix it earlier and now it just made it worse. This I would definitely be happy with, with that OC and some whitening on the corners. I would definitely be happy with it getting the nine. I think it's still a really nice card. So I think that's a win, honestly. We probably should have ended with this one, but that's that's a win getting that nine, to be honest. Okay, next up, let's see. A little bit of whitening there, not, not too much. It looks like there is just slight whitening. It's not actually a little bit better than the Jinzo. We have the Imperial Order. Okay, this one's off-center the opposite way. We have skinny on this side and chunkier on that side. First edition, Imperial Order. Card looks pretty. There's not a lot of foil on this card, so there's not a lot of places to scratch it. It's only on the robes here, pretty much. And then, like, his beard and, and stuff like that. So there's not a lot of places to get scratched. I'm going to guess the 9 on this one. Okay, it did get a 9. That seems like it's about right, because, that I mean, the centering is just, it's too bad. Like, look how bad it is. So honestly, not bad. Not bad. Four more cards. Okay, let's check this. We have very very small on the top on the centering but that's pretty common with these old cards they have skinny top centering on the back at least all right it's really hard to tell with these things i'm gonna try and take this off it's really hard to tell with these uh kit these very plasticky cases let's see if i can take that that should help a little bit so uh that corner looks pretty good that corner looks pretty good that corner looks it looks like it's cut a little weird which occasionally will affect the grade hopefully it doesn't um and that one is is that whitening or is that just something behind it i think that might be a little speck of whitening oh thousand eyes restrict okay that's a big one centering from top to bottom is definitely off it's skinny up there just like on the back so consistent with the back um the foil i mean from what i can tell it's hard to tell through the case but it looks really good uh, I'm going to go nine on this one. Ooh. What? Did we miss something? Oh, no. A seven? A seven. 
Um, our, well, we've seen it's off centered, but it's it's just top to bottom. It's off centered. Okay, we gotta inspect this more carefully. Like a six usually means there's like a dent, so there there's not supposedly not a dent. Um, I I don't know. I don't know why this would get a seven. I am very confused by this one, guys. And then the surface looks really good from what I can tell. I was, yeah, I was totally, is it bent somewhere? Like a, not like dented, but like, but why would it be bent? We just pulled it. And like, you can see over there, it kind of looks like maybe it's bent, but that's just the sleeve in there or the, uh, in the uh, case. It's not actually bent right there. As I can tell right here, wait, maybe there's a, oh wait, what is this? Is that a lip on it? You guys see that? You guys see that right there? It looks like a lip. Um, that's not good. That is not good. I think there might be a lip right there. Yeah, there's definitely a lip right there. It looks like it got like... Looks like it just got like... I don't know if that was done afterward, but I don't remember that being there when we pulled it in the video, guys. That looks like it may have happened during grading, which is... Or like maybe unpackaging or something. Or maybe at the, when it was in the package on the way there. But honestly, I don't remember that. But I would have to double check the video and see if I could see anything on there. But this is so slight. I mean, we could barely tell without the right lighting. So I don't know if we'll be able to tell right off. But oh, yeah, that's definitely why I got the seven. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a huge bummer. I don't know when that happened, but uh yeah, that's not good. That's not good, guys. That really stinks. That really stinks. Okay, so we're on to the next one. I was not expecting uh, a seven. I didn't even... I never saw that myself, so... Let's go to the next one. All right. Corner, nice. Corner, not as nice, but still decent. Corner, pretty good. And corner... Good, I would say. So pretty decent corners. Surface looks good. We got to be looking out for them lips now. All right, that, that thing's OC as well. Pretty off centered. Let's see if we see anything insane like that. Hopefully not. That would be not. That would not be good at all. Okay. So uh, this one we're gonna go with the nine as long as we didn't miss some crazy thing. Near mint to mint eight. Okay, I guess it's the centering. I guess it's the centering, guys. Wow. I mean, it is off. It's way OC, but man, oof. Pack fresh getting these eights is, and sevens is not cool. It's, it's, it's painful. Yeah, I mean, I see it's way OC. It's way OC on both sides, and I mean, to be fair, a lot of times they have been knocking that, but man, eesh. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Two cards left. All right, let's just get it out of there. It's been a lot better when I take this. Like the camera cannot. Cannot uh, handle being inside those sleeves. Okay. We have. Okay. Corner. A little bit of a ding on that top. We've got an okay. Corner. I mean, these are not great corners. I, I wouldn't say great corners. I'd say like uh, average at best. We've got the fiend mega cyber. So the fiend mega cyber. This guy's actually fairly centered. Like maybe slightly off. From the top or the bottom to the top. I don't know which way you say it, but the top is skinnier. This one should get at least a nine. Yeah, mint nine. Okay, honestly, that card is not... Honestly, it looks like it's well within the range, in my opinion. So maybe it's... The range? I don't know if the range exists anymore, guys. I feel like it doesn't. What's that in the middle? We got stuff on the card, in the case. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is... Uh, this is not fun. Okay, PSA 9, there's something in the case. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mint 9, uh, I don't know. I feel like that one had a 10 shot. And the final card of the video. So far, no 10s. Is that hair? Okay, that came off. All right, nothing on the back of this one. That's good. I think this one's a trap card. What was it? Chain destruction or something? All right, ended it off with a dud. Okay. So it's, it's off-centered for sure. I mean, that thing's way off-centered. Corners. Nice. Pretty nice. So I'd say pretty nice. Uh, that one that one may be a little bit of whitening, but it's cut like that. And then that one looks pretty good. So for the... 
chain destruction. Let's uh, get the focus here. How's that corner looking right there? And that's not a pretty corner. That I, I don't feel too good about that corner. And there we go. Okay, so this one, honestly, with that corner and that centering. Actually, the front centering is actually not that bad. Hope for a 9, maybe an 8. Yeah, near mint to mint 8. Okay. Okay, this was... This was a bummer one. This was not one that you're going like, yeah, woohoo, got a PSA 7, 8, 9, you know, whatever. Let's, let's kind of go through these. Let's see. Okay, I think honestly that this is a pretty fair grade for this one, for that chain destruction. This one, I think maybe, maybe got, uh, got railed a little bit. I think that one could have been a 10. So let's kind of go with, we're just going to kind of see what I think these should have gotten. Uh, this one hurt a lot. I mean, it's just centering. Two grades for centering always hurts a lot. I think that I think this maybe should have gotten a nine. I would, I would like the lobby for a nine. I could see why I got the eight on some of my other submissions. They've been harsh on centering. So uh, I kind of see why I got it. Then we got the thousand eyes. I mean, the grade is correct. That should definitely warrant a seven. But where did that come from is the question. That's the question I have. Uh, I really don't know because I know I didn't do it, but I don't know. I don't know. And then we have uh, Imperial Order 9. I think that this is a fair grade for that one. I think that one is definitely fair. So that should be a 9. Um, this one honestly got a little lucky, I think, compared to the other grades. They're pretty harsh on the other ones. This one, I think, could have, like, based on some of the other cards, could have been an 8. So I think uh, Jinzo Polar is actually going to be very happy. Then we have uh, these two. This one was rough. I think it could have been a 9 for sure. Uh, the centering, they're just very harsh on the centering. So I would have I would have given it a nine. And then this one I think is is fair to nine. So this is what this is what if I was grading these, this is where I would have liked to see them personally. But yeah, obviously I'm not. So I'm just I'm just showing you guys what I think. I think this should have been a 10. This should have been a seven, but we you know, we don't know where that ding came from, but it was a fair grade. Uh this should have been an eight. I think that was fair. And then these should have been nines. Honestly, this Jinzo, I think could have been an eight. So uh rejoice with that one i think these all could have been nines to be honest that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes that's the thing with grading you're not always going to get the grade you want or even the grade you deserve or you think you deserve so we don't really know it's always fun to see these come back so hopefully we will do better on my sub that's coming up soon we will see how the centering grades go you know all that stuff it's been a year so it's going to be interesting to see those come back and uh, my stardust we're still waiting on that one so Hopefully it gets a 10, but uh, the center was actually good. That's it for this PSA video. If you haven't seen the every special edition opening, go check it out. Also, worth it or not, we've been doing the series. Episode 2 came out yesterday, and I thought it did really well, actually. So uh, it seems like you guys liked it. So go check that one out if you missed it. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!